Well, I got another package here from Organic Price Books. It's time to see what's inside. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel, I talk a lot about comic books. We do unboxings and reviews, really everything in between. So if you're interested in that type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, today we got a quick unboxing coming at you from the good folks at Organic Price Books. Now, if you're not familiar, Organic Price Books is a proud sponsor of this channel and they are the best place online to get collected editions. Trade paper bags, oversized hardcovers, omnibus, box sets, it's all there. It's all at great prices with the best shipping in the game and awesome customer service. So if you're looking for collected editions, go to organicpricebooks.com. Now, of course, I wouldn't recommend anything if I couldn't save you any money, right? So use coupon code BJKicks at checkout. You'll save $2 on your onesie, twosie orders like this one is. Or if you're placing a larger order, three books or more, use the coupon code BJKicks, ship it together. That's going to do two things. First, and probably most importantly, it's going to save you 5% on your entire order, which really adds up. If it's a $100 book, you save five bucks. It adds up quickly. Um, but also what it's going to do is make sure that all those books come to you safely in one big package. So if you're using that to pre-order books, just know none of your books are going to arrive until the last book is released. So just keep that in mind. But big savings coming to you from the folks at Organic Price Books. Thanks for sponsoring the channel. Now, let's get into this box. As you can see, it's a little bit of a smaller box. It's a lighter box. I can hold it pretty easily. Um, so let's get into it. I'm actually really excited about this. This is going to go with another book that I've uh, shown off very recently. So, whoops, just hit the camera. Great packaging as always. Let's get inside here. Boom, boom, boom. Man, this is super bright orange. Some of you watching other people's videos, you probably know this is already, but let's open it up. I don't see if I can do this without using any uh, scissors. Oh, there we go. Bang, bang, bang. All right. Man, this thing is like, you know, you knew it was going to be thin, but it's kind of surprising to like to just feeling how thin it is. This looks awesome. Anyway, this is Inferno. This is Jonathan Hickman's Inferno. This is the final four issues of Jonathan Hickman's X-Men run, basically. Uh, it's a brand new mini or a separate mini series that is meant to be read. It takes place long after, well, not long after the events, but after the events of House of X, Powers of 10, and Jonathan Hickman's X-Men run. As a matter of fact, maybe I should just pull those both out. All right, so as I was saying, Inferno is the latest in Jonathan Hickman's and the final little entry into Jonathan Hickman's X-Men world building that we've been getting since back in 2019 when House of X and Powers of 10 started, which I've got right here. This is this Mark Brooks DM variant for House of X. And um, you'll see I'm trying to keep that theme going, right? Uh, so anyway, after House of X and Powers of 10 and all the great things that are revealed there, this, by the way, is the series that got me into comics. It's the, this series is the reason I have a pull list. Anyway, House of X, Powers of 10 ends and that starts the Dawn of X, which among a bunch of other titles brings us this. X-Men by Jonathan Hickman. Um, this X-Men run ran 21 issues and it included three issues that were a part of this crossover, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, um, it's, it's hard to say what it was without spoiling it, but basically it was an excuse for all the X-Men books to cross over and introduce some new elements to the Krakoa era of storytelling, um, not the least of which 
actually i won't spoil that let me know if you want like a ten of swords review i think what i'm gonna do very soon after i finish filming this is like a full-on hickman x-men retrospective just kind of reviewing all of it because what's really cool about all of this is i read it all i read it all as it was coming out in single issues hickman's x-men is the first time that i got collected editions where i'd already read them um so anyway House of X powers of 10 leads to Hickman's X-Men, which leads to, well, is includes 10 of swords about three quarters of the way through Hickman's X-Men ends during the end of Hickman's X-Men run. We kind of start a new era for Krakoa. There's another Hickman X-Men title already out or another X-Men title, excuse me, uh, by Jerry Dugan. I think there's like, we're like 10 issues into that run right now. Um, and yeah, we're now in the Destiny of X storyline, which is basically the first official story arcs after Hickman completely finishes with X-Men. Um, comes after that, X Lives and 10 Deaths of Wolverine, all that. But anyway, before Hickman officially leaves X-Men, he does this, Inferno, which basically wraps up a lot of the stories from House of X and Powers of 10. Uh, a lot of the threads, right? A lot of plot holes, I guess. A lot of different points. Um, we basically see him bring to a conclusion, but in such a way that the Krakoa era is allowed to continue pretty much indefinitely. Um, now, how things are going to go after this, we're still seeing. Um, Benjamin Percy did The Ten Lives and Ten Deaths of Wolverine, which basically is like a direct sequel to this. So, so far, X-Men feels like it's in good hands, but who knows? What I do can tell you is that this Inferno is amazing. If I'm being completely honest, House of X Powers of 10 was like the best I've ever read in comics. I mean, that's, that's saying a lot. I mean, that's not saying a lot because I only started reading comics three years ago, but nothing has been as good as House of X Powers of 10 until this came along. This was really good, but I don't think I want to do my review here. But this was the most exciting I've been, uh, excited I've been about X-Men since House of X Powers of 10. This is a great series. Uh, anyway, this oversized hardcover collects Inferno issues one through four, which is the full mini series. I know it doesn't sound like a lot and you can see this is a very thin book compared to say 10 of Swords, right? Or compared to the Hickman X-Men run overall. I gotta say, the fact that this is a separate book from this is kind of dumb, but whatever. Uh, but anyway, Inferno is only four issues, but they were four double-sized issues. So it's kind of like an eight issue of eight issues of story. Um, and man, it is fast paced, high stakes, great stuff, great stuff. Uh, again, I will do a full Hickman X-Men review, um, probably at the end of this week. So, Thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know if that's something that you want to see. Um, because if not, then I'll just put something else in its place. Uh, but yeah, so that was the unboxing. Hickman's Inferno. I'm very excited to have this hardcover. Um, I'm very excited that it matches my Ten of Swords and Hox Pots. Um, I'm also kind of mad that Mark Brooks didn't do a cover for Hickman's X-Men because then I could have gotten like a bunch of lining up spines. This red, it's definitely breaking things up. But hey, it's whatever. It's whatever. We'll do a full Hickman review in a later video. Again, thumbs up, comment if you want it. By the way, this Inferno hardcover is still available. And this direct market variant is the one you want to get. So you can grab it at organicpricebooks.com. Be sure to use coupon code BJKicks at checkout. It'll save you two extra dollars. Or if you bundle this with two or more other books, then you can use a coupon code BJKicks, ship it together and save 5%. Uh, but that's it for me. I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, hope you saw something you liked in this one. If not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.